Hello and welcome here to the Windsor Stadium. Here in the northwest of, of Sydney. About to get underway very shortly. The second test between Australia and New Zealand here in the PDRL. And uh, just to keep the, the flavour going, we have Alex, Dennis from Australia, Bertie alongside of me from New Zealand. Welcome, gents. Welcome. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, another catch up, another game. She'll be a beauty as we stand by for the national anthems. The national anthem of New Zealand. Moments away from kickoff here in the second test match between the P in the PDRL between New Zealand and Australia. I'm hoping there's no changes to the uh, team list. I know Kyle Lloyd's out for Australia. As we stand by for the Kiwis to do the traditional harker. Well, they just looked out the scoreboard. They've got the uh, 40 minutes on the clock. It's 25 minute halves. <laughs> yeah. Stand by here for the Harka of New Zealand.
guys. So for another big one, go through the team list now for you. For Australia, got George Toner, Daniel Frost, John O. Smith, Dylan Jobson, the co-captain with Mitch Gleeson, Marco Quinteo, Junior, Ed Sharp, Riley Lowe, Tristan Gibbs, Bill Buzzle, Joe Egan, Peter Mitchell, Joel Pragnall, Todd Dorward, and Ed Jobson, Steve Cremona, and Drew Gibbs make up the Australian side. For New Zealand, we have Chi for music, Phil Milne, Jim Doolan, Paul Mully Paula, Michael Kalina, Josh Hyde, Yutria Toperia, Gary Kingy, Dempuri Masevi, Jason Gilmore, Matthew Williams, Bruce Cross, Gary Endicott, Jeremy Harris, Josh Dents, Freeman Hickey, Junior Leah Pepper, and Tim Rag. Leah Pepe. Leah Pepe. We'll get there in the end. Oh, I got a couple of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're about to get underway. Here, the second test. Australia and New Zealand in the PDRL. We're underway. And New Zealand will bring this out of their own territory. Straight away with Phil Milne. We'll play the ball on the 30. As that wind picks up here again. Some strong contact there in the first one. There on Jason Gilmore. Mitch Gleeson making the tackle. If you're wondering why there's a couple of guys in orange vests, they are the able body players out on the field. The red shorts represent that they can be only touched or touch a player in possession of the ball. We'll go back there. Also, an important rule to remember if there is a knock on, play will stop, the referee will blow the whistle, and they'll play the ball with the knock on happen, unless it is deliberate or it is the last tackle. So it is the last tackle now for New Zealand. 38 out from Australia's line. Doolan with the ball, he'll just kick this down into the corner. John Smith will just let that go into touch. So a good start there for New Zealand, the first set of six. Yeah, kept it out of the dead ball area. Yeah, it's quite good to see him going. And uh, the red shorts, it just allows the game to flow for all those boys that got arm injuries or disability with the arm. They just get tackled. Well, Wiley Lowe, or Bubba as his nickname is, takes the first hit up for Australia. Here's Mitch Gleeson. One of the co-captains in the Australian side. So that wind is getting even stronger. They go through the hands. Good hands there. Goes out there wide to Frost. He throws an even longer pass out to Toner. Toner's just been touched there on that far side. So Frost in at dummy half. Joe Egan. Oh, he does well to juggle that one. Gleeson. Steps back inside and he's wrapped up ball and all. Australia, 23 out from their own line. Gleeson plays that slowly. So it goes here to number 13, Peter Mitchell. So they go back for the kick from Frost. Bit of a juggle there. And Mill will charge back in, but he's been grabbed there from John O'Smith. So there it is. Boy to see, the man with the red shorts just has to touch the player with the ball. Now we've had a, a spilt ball, which will just give the defence a bit of time to get back into their line, and the referee will blow time on. So Mill, in fact, that's Jim Doolan, good tackle there from Gleeson. So helping out Drew Gibb. So inside pass for Gilmore. Read that well, the Aussie defence. So even though it's been played predominantly in Australia's half this opening five minutes, it's a pretty even contest. Last tackle for New Zealand. The ball's come out. Could have been a strip there. So we made to play it on the 30. It was the last tackle. Kick down there from Bruce Cross. 
Joe Egan. It'll be too heavy or not? It's dangerous here, and Joe Egan does the right thing, just boots it out dead. Now we've got a penalty for inside the 10, says the referee. Jim Doolan and Phil Moon. Milne just a bit eager. Thank you very much. Yes. One of the Hong Kong players just gives us a couple of cans of Red Bull. No tequila though, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not too enthusiastic of it. Uh, forgive me if I'm feeling a bit flat. This is my third game I've called today and I think it's about my tenth game in three days of commentating. But thank you very much to that Hong Kong player. Only one day to go, mate. Yeah, <laughs> one day to go. So uh, send us your messages on Facebook if you're tuning into this. It's uh, Tristan Gibbs. We'll play this ball 18 up from his own try line. Big 10 metres. So Gleeson pops a pass. He's done well to pick that up. Dylan Jobson. we have to go back and, and play it. Big 10 metres as Birdie's picked out for New Zealand. <laughs> Ball goes astray and New Zealand's going to pick it up here. No, George Toner's on it on that far side. So what have Australia got? They've been camped down here for a while. And well, this will help their calls. A penalty. New Zealand inside the 10 or as Bertie like to say inside the 15. Yeah, he's keeping them apart, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can't deny it. So it's a very strong win that Australia's running into, so Frost will have to put a lot on it. He does, he finds touch. So boys, five-team competition in Australia. Uh, trying to expand the PDRL. Uh, Dennis, um, got five teams, hopefully for a few more. We've got Daniel Frost representing Newcastle, so it'd be great if Newcastle could get a team and, and make it six, or even we get eight or ten. Is that the goal? Yeah, we're definitely looking to expand. You know, the Kari Premiership that they play under allows us to pool and even the teams up at the moment, but we'd like them to stand on their own, so that's definitely what we're hoping for in the future. Good run there from John O. Smith. Red short, so I'll go to the short side, Gleeson. Onto the line, links up here, up Frost. Toner coming back in field. He'll just take the tag, the tap. Quick play the ball. Smith goes for a run from dummy half. The referee says he's been touched back there by uh, Bruce Cross there in number 12. And in New Zealand, they've got the Campbell Cup on the start next March. Birdie, you don't have quite have a domestic comp. But you're trying to get it up and running with the Campbell Cup. Yeah, we're looking for a lot more players throughout New Zealand to join in to make it. A good competition going. Uh, you can check the Facebook, the Physically Disabled Rugby League, and you'll click on them message. So Mitchell with a good kick at the end goal, but it's just going to go dead in goal. So we'll come out to the 20 for a restart. So not a bad set there for Australia on the attack. Pretty even contest this. So Australia got up on the bell, intercept. Daniel Frost, he had to run 90 metres to score. They were definitely lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just said early in the uh, previous game that um, Michael Kalina scored four in that. Um, I don't know if uh, anyone's ever scored four in a losing team before. No, I don't think so. No. So this is the second test, and a reminder that the third one will be played at St Mary's on Saturday. So if you're streaming this at the moment and you've got nothing to do Saturday, make sure you get out to St Mary's and support these guys. They're doing a great job. It's Gary Endicott there. He'll play this. We've got an injury there also too. Is that uh, Gleeson down on the ground? Yeah, it's Gleeson. Uh, unfortunately, Gary lost his balance and fell into Gleeson's leg there. So just a little bit of a hold-up here. We'll, we'll take this chance to the right. people that are tuning into the stream. We would like to say, uh, the Kiwis would like to thank Ortex and Cerebral Palsy Society and the Auckland Rugby League for their help, for getting us here. Yep, without uh, their help, this uh, competition or even this sport wouldn't uh, run without our sponsors, so uh, we thank them dearly, especially for the New Zealand team to get out here. So back underway, it's the number seven, top of rear. 
he'll play this. 32 out from his own try line. It's Tim Rag. Brought down just short of the 40. See this ground has had a lot of rugby league over the last fortnight. It's done well to hold up with all the rain we've had. We were lucky with the, not didn't have it yesterday with the rain. Well, we copped it at Cabramatta for the uh, emerging nations. But the ground was unbelievable. So they come down this short side, Doolan. Doolan close to the sideline. Might have been lucky with the red short there. So it's a long pass there. Another cut out. This is the man, Kalina. He'll just kick this up high. It's a tester. It's an awkward bounce. Kalina could pick this up here. No, he's fumbled it. The referee's given a penalty for offside in front of the 10 again. You've got to give the guy a certain distance to catch the ball, eh? Right. Uh, righto, so that's a, that's a rule I haven't uh, picked up there. So you've got to allow the distance for the players to catch the ball. Correct. We've just got a bit of time off here. So injured players coming off here. Is that uh, Tuimar Savi? Yep. And Australia take the opportunity to make an interchange. So coming on is Ed Sharp in jersey eight, the blue head gear. It's Riley Lowe. He's the local here, Riley Lowe. His home turf. Mitchell. So play the ball. Almost centre field is Mitch Gleeson. Now a good pass there to Egan. Egan pops it over the back and there's good hands there from it's Drew Gibbs. And another player down I know, right on just, halfway. He's just Gary Edicott and can't get himself up. <laughs> Apologies to Gary. As Daniel Frost will play it. Here's George Toner coming in off the wing. Good run there. It's the last tackle for Australia. Mitchell. He'll kick this across field. That's an awkward bounce there for Phil Milne. Lowe's coming in. Milne will be tackled a metre or so out from his try line. Harris will wait for it at dummy half. And he'll go for a run from dummy half. And Egan's there to, to touch Jeremy Harris. He'll go through the hands again at the... New Zealand, bringing this out of Aaron territory. Short pass that was from for Music. Wasn't bad. Kalina has gone over his head, but he's done well to pick it up. Kalina's stopped there by George Toner. With a hand from Daniel Frost. Another long pass. It's expansive, some of this rugby league. Gets risky in the own goal area. I'm just thinking the, the able body players with the bright orange and yellow vests. Uh, Normally see council workers wear them. Good run there. Gilmore will be made to come back and play it. Joe Egan with the touch. So Milne, he'll put this one high. Comes down. It's an awkward one. It's an awkward bounce there. And Sure, he's picked it up here. The referee is going to rule a hand over here by the looks of it to Australia. Yeah, it's a knock on to Dylan, which constitute a tackle or the last tackle, whichever you like. You take it. That's why I've got Dennis and Birdie here to help me out with some of these rules. And if you're tuning in, you're new to PDRL like myself, it's good to have them here. As a shoulder charge there from top of route. And Sharp gets up and plays it quickly, though. Daniel Frost has got a bit of space here. Throws the pass to Toner. He's done well to clean this up. George Toner. Quick play of the ball, and Frost had to get up there quickly to, to grab that. Good tackle there. Wrapped up there. The, the two ABs coming together. Another one in there at dummy half. It's hard to identify the ABs because you can't see their number on the back of the vests. This is Daniel Frost. Got a penalty there for a shepherd. Or obstruction. Yeah, this is just another arm of the inclusive rugby league that rugby league promotes. And uh, for physical disability, it's a great opportunity for everyone with a physical disability to join in at all levels. Yeah, it's, it's great to see. And um, 
George Tone to come up and spoke to me earlier on in the day and aiming to get a couple more countries involved for the World Cup in 2021. Yeah, well, England's well on the way. So, yep. yeah, Warrington came out and toured Australia just previous, previously to this tournament, so they're definitely well underway. I think Warrington, they got about eight sides over there. Warrington, Leeds, Castleford, Wakefield as well, and a few more teams getting involved. It's great to see, and uh, Adam Hills has been flying the flag over there. We've had very good support here in Australia. Nova and Ford and Kari have been behind it with sponsorship, and... And a few of the NRL clubs like East, South, um, Manly, Newtown are behind us as well, and the West Tigers have given us great support. And we have the Warriors of New Zealand behind us, which helps a lot. It's great to see all teams involved. Well, there's one there for you. AB knocked it on. <laughs> Here's Harris from Dummy Half. Good run there from Harris. Getting inside the 10. Pat on the back there from Gleeson. So they come this short side. They've got numbers here. Here's Kalina. He's going to be hard to stop. He's going to pick up another one. Michael Kalina gets New Zealand's first try. So it's 4 0 for kick to come. And Birdie, I'm going to start. I'm going to ask the question here. Is Michael Kalina the only one that can score tries for New Zealand? I think he's about the fastest we've got. <laughs> Yeah, well done, Michael Kalina. And he's not doing too bad for one leg. He's extraordinary. Some of these, these guys, all of these guys, are remarkable. So New Zealand, strike first. Heading into the final 10 minutes of this first half. Anthony Pomeroy writes Kiwis. Desiree writes Go NZ. Shelly Eastlake, big respect to these guys. Go Kiwis. Kim Brandon, good luck boys. Keep the, keep the messages coming in the comments here on the Rugby League International Federation page. We'd also like to add some of our sponsors, DNI Electrical, Sir Peter Lynch, the, the Mad Butcher, he's getting behind it. Lena adds the extras, 6-0. Going on yeah, mate, you're all right. You keep uh, talking up your sponsors. More than happy to do that. Dennis, you do the same. Yep, no worries. Like I said, it's a Ford and um, Kari and Nova are our three main sponsors. Here's Jobson. Good tackle there. Line him up. Gilmore on Jobson. He's trying to get up. We got a penalty to Australia. So, good opportunity to hit right back here. I'll take the quick tap. Mitchell. Mitchell just run and take the tackle. He's got around a couple here. Mitchell is still going. It's a good run from Peter Mitchell. Go through the hands. It's Healy. Well, oh, Frost it went to a, like a bullet at him. He'll play it. About 18 out. As the number six is on the field, Quintano Jr. So they go this short side. Looking for numbers. Sharps there. We'll be playing the ball midfield. Not quite exactly on the mark here. The referee says that uh, Dylan Jobson's oh, spilt that. So he'll play the ball. Now a bit of confusion there. There's bodies everywhere. Touched. Touched by a red short. Turnover. These guys have lost my way there a bit. And Ben Bruce Cross will uh, play the ball. So New Zealand bring this out of their own territory. It's the big number eight. Gary Kingy will get up and play the ball. He, he plays with the Roosters here in Sydney. Gilmore. couple of Kiwis, they reside here in, in Sydney and, and play their, their football here in Australia, or well, here in Sydney. You've got uh, Chi for music, plays for the Newtown Jets. Gary King, as I said, with the Roosters and Tim Rag with the West Tigers. It's Kalina, 
does well again to pick the loose ball up. Tony gets him. So come centre field. Good numbers and Dylan's gone through a gap. Referee's forward pass. Forward pass so. Unlucky. Yeah. It was a lovely gap. The gap was there. So Australia, a golden opportunity to hit back here. And here we've got a penalty for, for back chat. So Mitchell will take the quick tap. 21 out from the New Zealand line here, Australia. Looking for their first try. Here's Tristan Gibbs. He scored a good try in the first test. He's still going, Tristan Gibbs. He's just been grabbed there by Josh Dench in 16. Here's Frost. Daniel Frost running across field, looking for support. Sharp. He could have been grabbed there without the ball. No touch made by Shea. Red shorts. So Ed Sharp will play it. Frost with it. Going through the hands here. There's a chance for Tona. He does well to pick it up. He's cutting back in field. Tona. He'll be touched there by the 22, Tim Rag, and play at centre field. They go out to the left hand side again. Frost does well to pick it up on the bounce. Frost will come back in field. Runs into the shoulder of Bruce Cross. There's still five out Australia. Quintano puts it on the toe. There's a deflection here. We've got to try for Australia. Peter, Peter Mitchell. Mitchell. So it's 6-4. Australia score their first try. And uh, we'll get this up on the replay very shortly. They kept persisting. They wanted to score next to the posts. They kept coming every time they, they swung it out wide. They kept coming in. Here it is on the replay. Little kick. Just the deflection and Johnny on the spot, Peter Mitchell. How are you enjoying it up here, boys? It's it's freezing, isn't it? It is a wee bit, eh? <laughs> it's from New Zealand. It's cold. cold. We're from Christchurch. It doesn't this cold. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful spring weather here in Sydney. It's about 15 degrees and it's 27 the other day, eh? <laughs> yep. It was quite warm here on Tuesday, and this day the heavens opened up again. So Daniel Frost Australia, still under 13. Look to Mitchell, add the extras here. Australia 4, New Zealand 6 with a kick to come. And he does so, so we're locked up at 6 all. Congrats Just over four minutes Congrats remaining Australia in this first half. Six, the New PDRL Zealand test six. match between Australia and New Zealand. This is the second test, and a reminder, there is a third game being played on Saturday at St Mary's Stadium in Western Sydney. So I recommend that you uh, get out to St Mary's and support these guys in action. No matter if you're Kiwi, Australian or all British, make sure you get out to St Mary's. And that game kicks off at 12.45. 12.40? Yep. Early date. So uh, you still got time to do your shopping over Saturday afterwards. Phil Mill will play it. Tag there, Chief for Music. We'll play it on the 40. Almost forgot about the ball there. Is Kalina inside? Michael Kalina will play this centre field, 25 out from Australia's line. So, Kiwis, can they get one before half time? Top of route, top of route still going. Throws it out the back. Good touch there by the number 15, Dorwood from Australia, in the red shorts. They come to this left-hand side, Rag. Rag with a bit of a settling run. So it's the last tackle for New Zealand. Where's Colleen? He's in the middle. <laughs> He's hanging around there. And Colina. It's almost like a rugby ruck play there. They're taking their time. Doolan inside. Good try. New Zealand get their second through Jim Doolan. The gap just opened up. Same play as the last try. I think they might have been looking for Mike Colleen. Yeah, well, they've they've all sort of got the dummy there. Michael Colleen was hanging around and they forgot about Jimmy Doolan. So a 10-4 with a kick to come. So just repeating, if you've just tuned in, you're new to the rules. 
the red shorts. Early touch or be touched. And if there is a knock on, the referee will blow the whistle and stop play and make the player play the ball on that spot unless it's a deliberate knock on or it's the last tackle. So the referee can rule a deliberate knock on or a knock on on the last play. So. Australia, New Zealand score number three. Jim Poland has the score at New Zealand. Jim Poland will. Australia, six. The kick to come. Look to add the extras here. He did well to even improve the position when he ran over. I'll carry on with a couple of more sponsors. Construction New Zealand, DX Mail, and Ryman Health. Some of our proud sponsors. Yeah, we're definitely looking at expanding the premiership next year. So if you know of anyone, introduce them to this sport. Go onto Facebook. Physical Disability Rugby League, so that we can improve our numbers and uh, hopefully get a new a few more teams. We've got a Penrith and Parramatta both waiting to put teams in. We need numbers. Yeah, it's, it's great to see these NRL clubs get involved as Dylan got the kick. It's now 12 points to 6, even though the scoreboard here at the ground says 14-6. He must be a Kiwi in that <laughs> score box. He's low. As Dennis said, uh, just need numbers here for the PDRL. The teams want to get involved, but uh, if you're watching this for the first time, know somebody here as Frost strokes off a couple. Frost is brought to ground. So we're heading into the final minute of this first half. 20 seconds, in fact, remaining. Oh, slips over there. Here's Healy. So still after more numbers to get this game going as Egan. Egan, inside pass there. That was a bit tricky. Dummy there. Sharp. Sharp's just been grabbed there by for music. Australia on the attack. This should be the last play of this half. It's a long pass. Goes to Gleeson. And uh, there'll be a hand over here. Is it it's, looks like it's half time by my estimations here. Now the referee calls time. So at half time... New Zealand lead Australia 12 points to 6 here in the PDRL second test match. We'll take a quick break and be back with the second half.
Well, he's your replacement, doesn't he? Yeah, Dean McKinley has just uh, arrived into the freezer here at Windsor <laughs> Stadium. And he'll be commentating next the Hong Kong v Japan game. But at the moment, it's New Zealand leading Australia at 12 6. Here in the PDRL second test match, and uh, I just switched uh, Facebook accounts to uh, read a few more tweets here. And uh, uh, Darren Andrews writes, "Is it only Australia and New Zealand competing in this?" Well, yes, in this it's a three-match test series. Hopefully, in the future, we can get England involved and a few more countries, Wales and Scotland. And the aim is to get a PDRL World Cup happening. Same time with the uh, World Cup in 2021 in England. So uh, if you're tuning in for the first time and, and want to get involved with PDRL, the Rugby League, go to the Australian Facebook page or the New South Wales PDRL Facebook page or New Zealand. I'm sure there is one for yeah. England as well. They do have Leeds, Warrington, Castleford, Wakefield represented in the UK and a few more. To add to that. We're back underway with the second half. Kalina with a big boot. Belts it downfield. And low, Riley Low, or Bubba as he's known, will take the first hit up. As repeated, as I mentioned in the uh, first half, the players with the red shorts can only be touched. As Tona, as I've just been told at half time, it's Tona. So apologies there to George Tona. He didn't seem to mind when he came up and spoke to me before, but he's probably just being polite. So they go down the short side, Australia. Tristan Gibbs. A penalty for offside for New Zealand. I just had a call from Bendigo. Bendigo. From Rennell. She said, go, Bubba. Go, Bubba. <laughs> it's good to see how we're getting uh, visual watches in Bendigo as well. Normally the AFL states. Just had a player in the African oh, United yeah. team from, from Melbourne, so uh, it's good to see. Got two Four. balls on the field at the moment. And you usually see a referee go get a ball then. <laughs> Everyone helps out in the PDRL. <laughs> yeah, er I know. Er <laughs> earning his keep. So Australia, fine touch. Jono Smith. Well, now we've gone from having two balls on the field to none. So Smith gets us back underway. Oh, no. Full start. Not in the 10-metre line. So take two. Frost. Go through the hands. Here's Tristan Gibbs from Dubbo. Good to see a country boy representing Australia. Gleason at dummy half. Throws the pass and it's put down there. So it'll be a play the ball. Marco Quintano Jr. out there will play it. So Gleason comes the short side. He's low of an opportunity. There's been a touch there. He said the red shorts. They just have to do the touch. For music, the Newtown Jets player. Here's Joe Egan running across field. He does the dummy flick. The dummy flick pass there from Joe Egan. Here's Tristan Gibbs. He's done well to juggle that. Gibbs. Gibbs. Oh, he's so close. He did all the hard work there to juggle that. And went to put the ball down. So he'll be made to play this pretty much on the try line. Yeah, last tackle. Last tackle for Australia. Gleason. He had a little bit of a look there. So that'll be the handover. So New Zealand survived the first raid. Still 12-6. Gilmore plays it. Goes to Rag. Rag's brought down there by Gleason. The old wind's picking up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Glenn Tarrant writes, hey guys, this is brilliant. Very good try to New Zealand, says Darren Andrews. Happy for his to keep sending the messages through. For music. It does oh. a dummy here. They all expect the Kalina to take it. It's for music. Still going. He's doing plenty of dummies. 
This is great hands from New Zealand. Kalina's got it now. He's a hard man to bring down, but eventually he's brought down on the 40. Gilmore just runs a hard line. He's brought down just short of the 50. Last tackle. He goes back to Kalina. He'll just belt this straight down the middle. It goes over the fullback. Under the headwind. So. It was, yeah, it's a very strong win here at Windsor Stadium. So, Cutler well, Aussies just taking their time to get back inside. He's a very good run here. Straight up the middle here. Marco Quintano Jr. In fact, it's John O. Smith. Apologies there. Gleason at dummy half. Gleason runs to the line, picks Tonna. George Tonna will play it. Gleason again at dummy half. Looking for support. He had Mitchell. He decided just to take the touch. Bruce Cross coming over with the touch. So Mitchell at dummy half now. He's got a good try in the first half for Australia. The only one to pair up. Wraps up Mitchell. Frost. Frost will put this on the toe. Good take there from Phil Milne. Phil Milne struggling in the tackle, but there's help there from Smith and uh, has to play the ball. Gary Kingy will play this. So Milne. Now will pick this up. We're supposed to go to Doolan. New Zealand bringing this out of their own territory. Doolan saw a half gap there, but it closed very quickly. Yeah, part of the game is the strategy to make sure that the red shorts don't just shut you down. Well, I don't know how it is out in the field, but it's absolutely blowing a gale up here in the grandstand. We're in a bit of a wind tunnel, so apologies if that noise is coming through the effects mics, but uh, <laughs> it's been the, the strongest it's been all day. So Kalina, he'll just belt this downfield. And he's kicking into a very, very strong wind is Michael Kalina. So that's a remarkable kick. Fullbacks had to go pretty much all the way to the try line to field this. Riley Lowe is there to help out. Riley Lowe, he'll be forced to play this just short of the 20. So Tona, Tona. He's touched there from Fumizic. Run from dummy half. It's like Jono Smith. Jono Smith has touched there. So he'll be he'll be made to play it. We've got numbers here out to the right Australia. But Tristan Gibbs comes back in field. He's brought down just short of halfway. Both he's got numbers both sides Australia. Jono Smith just goes straight up the middle. Pinches another 10 metres. Marco Quintano Jr. puts that on the toe. It's gone behind Milne there. But New Zealand pick up the ball. So if you're watching this and want to get involved with PDRL, whether as a player, a volunteer or a sponsor, make sure you go to the New Zealand Rugby League PDRL Facebook page or their website. The same goes for New South Wales Rugby League PDRL or Queensland. Is Harris. <laughs> yeah, the Gold Coast Titans are assisting and getting the team off the ground up there. So, yeah, it's all looking good. We just need more players. Well, hopefully this helps get the word out there. And if you're watching on Facebook and you like what you see, please share. Some more shares. The more people it gets out to, obviously. You never know. And these guys take it very seriously too and they enjoy it and feel like really good, good for their esteem. Well, it is, it's, it's a great idea. As Lowe feels this, he said he's the local junior out there, Riley Lowe. Also the, the water boy for the Greek national team. Tona pinches a couple more metres, a quick play of the ball. It was very well done there by Tona. And Gleeson just slipped over there. It's starting to get a little bit muddy up there. Rag. Yeah, he's 
It could have been a flop. <laughs> John A. Smith runs from dummy half. Gleason's back on his feet. He's at dummy half. He's got a half gap there. Gleason could go himself here. He's over. Great try from Mitch Gleason, the co captain of Australia. It's 12 10 with the kick to come. He just kept running from dummy half. And uh, it was like as if he had spiders on him. The defence just couldn't get there. Why they're doing that, I like that. Also, thank Fresh Choice, Mangery, Deb Works, Deck Works, sorry, YMCA, Graham Williams, Aligned Club, the Aussie Butcher, and Kelson Boys High. Yeah, proud sp sponsors on the Australian Jumper are Ford, okay, Biomed, Physio, all right, Nova, and Kari. So, Proud sponsors, come and, come and get behind all of it. Come and join in, come and see. Get on our Facebook page and have a look. Yep, for sure. And the same as there's any people interested in help sponsoring, please get on the Facebook page and put your give us a hand out. And Australia is still by number seven. Joyce Haggerty rides a good game. Billy Galaki says, "Let's go, New Zealand." Hopefully I'm pronouncing these surnames right. <laughs> Phil Garrett, John Smith, gets quick yards for the Aussies. He certainly yeah. does. And the conversion's unsuccessful. Yeah, the conversion's unsuccessful. The score 10. New Zealand 12. 12-10 here. New Zealand just in front. Under 15 minutes to go in this one. I hope we don't go to sleep in the last 10. <laughs> like last week. Maybe there were a repeat of Tuesday. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they learned from that mistake. Yeah, it's a uh, good Australia-New Zealand rivalry here. New Zealand to my left, Australia to my right. I guess that makes me the ditch. <laughs> no wonder you're cold. <laughs> Some people will call me something else. As uh, Topera makes a good run, New Zealand. Just a reminder that uh, the team who scores a try... The opposition gets the restart, so it's not the loser's kick like you see in the, the normal rugby league rules. It's Tapera again. Just short of the 20. Opportunity here for New Zealand to hit right back. Long pass out here to Kalina. He's the man. He's going to be touched there. I think they've got George Tonner in there covering him. Yeah, Tonner, he did well there. Inside ball here for Gilmore. He's brought down five short. Last tackle for New Zealand. We come the short side. Kalina. Solid contact there. Yeah. Kalina's over. Touch. Touch. By Red Short. Well, George Tonner. George Tonner, the man of the moment, stops a rampaging Michael Kalina. And also a good effort there from Dylan Jobson. He put the body on the line. Australia bringing this out of their own territory again. George Tunner. He's the man that started it here in Australia. Riley Low. Yeah, George has done an exceptional job getting this up and running. You know, the whole concept basically started with him. He's Low for music. Picked him out there. So come down this short side again, Australia. And, uh, Dylan Jobson there, the co-captain for Australia. Jersey five. It's just an amazing job that all the volunteers do, not only here, but even some of the stories of the emerging nations. Um, we're involved with local rugby league up in Newcastle and we often whinge you know, not getting resources, but these guys do it a lot more tougher than what we do. Puts it into perspective. It's a good kick here as Tonner's coming through. We've got a penalty for offside. Inside of the 10 there. Yep. So Kalina will take the tap, just waiting for his teammates to get on site. Bruce Cross just having a drink there with the trainer.
So Clean will look to find touch. He's belted that into the back of the grandstand, so he got a powerful boot on him. Just on 11 minutes to go. And for another nail by the birdie. Yeah. It'd be good if we, we can pull it off, then we'll be one all in the next for the and last final the game. Decider. Gilmore wrapped up there. Low, also sharp in the tackle. So to Proud. Will be made to play this on halfway. It's a hard rule to get used to when you're up here, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yeah, but there'd be thousands of stoppages if they didn't have that one. So it does it make the be. game flow. It does. It's very good. It's clean up. Again, with a very good run. He gets out of the tackle from Sharp. Tonner's in there. Tonner dives on the ball. And it'll be a New Zealand play the ball. Just a reminder, if you just tuned in, as the referee just calls time off here. And just a reminder, if you just tuned in here with the rules that... Uh, there's no knock-ons except for the last tackle or if the referee deems it to be a deliberate knock-on. So I'd uh, like to see a deliberate knock-on. As Gilmore plays it. AB runs, puts Kalina through a gap here. Thomas coming across, but Kalina's ran away and he throws it inside. And we're going to try to push cross. Well, that's unbelievable. Kalina was across the try line and threw it back in. One of the ABs picked it up, and Bruce Cross, he picks up a try for New Zealand. 16-10 with the kick to come, unbelievable. ABs can't score. ABs They're can't score, yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> Kalina should have gone himself. I would have thought he would have got down. Yeah, he would have made it, but he's improved the position for the kick. Yeah, yeah. true. Well, we'll get this up in the replay very shortly. I'm pretty sure Kalina was over. It would nearly cost us. Yeah. You see it now. Good play here from the Kiwis. Kalina went through a blinding gap. And he's over. <laughs> Throws it back into the ABs. Oh, I don't want it. Bruce Cross <laughs> slams it down. <laughs> so, great play. As Dennis said, the ABs can't score. I said... Um, and try to New Zealand, scored by number Jim Dolan will line this kick Bruce up. Cross has scored at New Zealand. I know 16, Australia 10 will the kick to come. English, or Great Britain, great Gary Schofield. He, he had a run with the Leeds PDRL team and uh, he was filthy that he couldn't score. <laughs> Wonder John, both boys played Yeah, too, Andrew it? Johns, he, he played for Warrington. And it's good to see those former greats getting involved too and if they can spread the word. They're more than happy to help out. It's Jim Dolan lines the kick up. He's kicking into that strong win. No, Doesn't have enough. Up. But 16-10 to convert a try in front. Seven minutes to go. Plenty of time. Plenty of time if you're an Aussie supporter. Kiwi have got eight, eight in front. Five minutes to go last time. Let us know where you're watching from. We're here live at Windsor Stadium. Second test match between Australia and New Zealand, the PDRL. So they've got big plans for this sport. It's Joe Egan takes a run. They want to get some more teams involved, more countries involved. For the World Cup in 2021, there's some good passing there, some good hands here. Tonner's got it, he's got some space. Tonner, Tonner's got Kalina coming across and Tonner did well. Ducked underneath the attempt to tackle from Kalina. There's a play the ball. Sharp's got it now. Sharp could go himself here. Charges into the line. Kalina. Also, the number eight, Kingy, wrap him up. So Sharp will play this half a metre out from the line. Tonner's hanging around. Gleason. He'll play this. So there's still five out. Awkward pass there. Here comes Tristan Gibbs. Goes into the back of Doolan. New Zealand dive on it. Looks like Endicott. I don't know if he dives or tripped on, but... <laughs> He's got the ball. Yeah, that's, that's all that's it all matters. That's the main thing. A bit of friendly banter there between Endicott <laughs> and Gibbs. 
Phil Milne. Here's Endicott again. Throws it inside. Some quick hands here. And Kalina, the danger man, has got it. He's met front on there by a couple of Aussies. He bumps out of them. Still going. He's eventually wrapped up. Kiwis. He's out of their own territory with Doolan. Good touch there from Joe Egan. Crossfield looking for support, finds Kingy. Gary Kingy's brought down on the 40. Last tackle for New Zealand. It's an important kick here. Want to find plenty of metres. So he goes Kalina now. As we say that, the wind just stops for Kalina <laughs> to get the kick through. That's well taken there by Jobson. Jobson. Brought down eventually on the 30. Took a while for the, the Kiwis to get up there in defence. He's sharp. Sharp is lined up. He flicks it out the back to Tonner. Tonner with a bit of space. He'll play it. Quick play the ball. He got numbers out to the right, Australia. Gleason comes back in field. He's taken the ground. A bit of a shot there from Doolan. Egan gets in at dummy half. They go to the right hand side again. He fakes with that dummy inside the flick. Now, New Zealand get a penalty. Egan throws the ball away in disgust. As you said, there's plenty of passion out there on the field. Heading into the final five minutes. New Zealand just in front, 16-10. You can see both benches are up on their feet. Couple of players eager to get back on. I can see in the Kiwis in front of me, Bruce Cross wanting to get on, and Josh Dench. Offside. No, no, no. So, Australia get the ball back. Peter Mitchell. Here's Egan. Here's the wind again. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, certainly picked up as Tristan Gibbs goes through a gap. He's still going, the boy from Dubbo. Tristan Gibbs is brought down eventually. 30 out from New Zealand's line. Can Australia hit back? Come out to this left-hand side. Awkward pass there. Here we go with Sharp. Sharp's got a bit of space, but the referee says come back and play it. A couple of ABs getting tangled up amongst each other there. So we're into the final three minutes of this one. New Zealand just in front. Mitchell at dummy half. And Mitchell's brought down. Centre field. Got numbers both sides. Australia. They go out to the right. Gleeson. Gibbs. Last tackle for Australia. Do you go to the air? Decide to run it. Gleeson again. Brought down. Good tackle. New Zealand yeah. survive. Two and a half minutes to go. Great stuff by the trainers there. Endicott was down and the Aussie trainer goes in to, to lend a hand. That's what the PDRL is all about. And the Kiwi's place from safe He's a volunteer place. we picked up from the Mediterranean today. Awesome. Even better. So New Zealand. No, we don't. Slow. This will be a slow set of six, I assume. Gilmore, he waits for a dummy half. They play it now. Oh, it's a dodgy pass. So he made the play it. Twelve out from his own line. Here's Kalina. Tonner running out of the line and picked him out. There's that big ten again. Big ten, yes. That pass goes behind and Frost has gone to die for it. I think Rag's got it there just ahead of Frost. Tim Rag will get up and play it. So it's the last tackle. I need a massive kick here. Cross has got it. Goes out to Doolan. Doolan's looking for support. He gets around his opposite number there. He puts it on the toe. And it's gone out on the full. So 
big opportunity here for Australia as we head into the final minute. We're set for another grandstand finish. They bunched up New Zealand. So, number six, Marco Quinteo Jr. will play it. Here's Mitchell. 18 out. The boys are here on the edge, on their tippy toes here as we get a penalty for Australia. Mitchell takes the quick tap. Peter Mitchell still going. Cross gets the touch. So go to the short side. Australia is across the man. We've got an intercept from Doolan. It's Phil Milne out there. 30 seconds to go. New Zealand are hanging on. of Tuesday, but the opposite. <laughs> Hanging on here, New Zealand. Looks like the Test Series is going to be locked up at one all. So we'll need to see it to Mary's for the decider. Yeah, dead right. This is where we need a couple of Queenslanders in the Aussie team to, to shine here. Makes good football, though. What? Both even sides. Gilmore brought down. And that's it, full time. It's one all in the Test Series of the PDRL. New Zealand strike back with a 16-10 victory. The boys are happy. It's been another great game. And I hope you can join us at St Mary's on Saturday at 12.45. And they'll fight out in the decider. Thanks, boys, for joining us. Yep, no problem. Thanks very much. Two, and, uh, two good, strong guys. Thank you. No worries, boys. We'll take a break here on Bar TV. We'll be back with Hong Kong v Japan.